What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. I'm going to start doing tech tips. So things that when I started out detailing gave me a lot of trouble. Things that I like to pass on to you guys. So if you're trying to do this from home, do it yourself. Try to save a few bucks. This should help you out. So the first tech tip we're going to go over is how to clean your WeatherTech Husky Liner or OEM rubber mats and also give them a nice finish so they look fresh out of the box but also so they're not slippery. When I first started out doing it I could get them to look good when they were wet but as soon as they dried there were a lot of stains left on. So I just started poking around trying different chemicals, trying different ideas um, to get it, get it to work and you know give a nice shine so the customer would appreciate it uh, without being slippery once again. So the first thing uh, I started trying was the products I was using to actually clean it. So in this video we'll kind of show you everything that I use um, to get you from totally disgusting salt stained mat to a perfect mat at the end. So first product I'd like to highlight for you guys is going to be this one called Super Clean. Now this is a bio, biodegradable detergent. Um, it's a it's a degreaser basically. Not saying you have to use this. I've also used uh, Simple Green. You can use Purple Power. Both of those seem to work just as well. I picked this one up on Amazon for this 32 ounce bottle. I think it was $4.99 or $5.99, something like that. Delivered to my door within two days. So I know that COVID-19 is going on right now, so might not be able to get it as fast but something I really like but you could just go to a, you know a farm and fleet any hardware store and get you some simple green if you want to try that out as well okay otherwise I've got you know my brushes that you guys have probably seen me use on my other details so this is gonna be my coarse hair brush uh, I use this right after I spray and then really use that to dig in all the grooves and try to get it all out um, after that, got the uh, little bit finer one. So kind of if you're going in order, this will be first one I use, second one I use, and then lastly the, the Boar's Hair Detailing Brush. So I like to use that one, especially on the WeatherTechs, um, to get around the actual WeatherTech logo, because that's got some um, crevices in it, if you will, some nooks and crannies, and that gets it all out. So these three brushes, will do the trick for you. Again, links to all these are going to be in the description, so if you want to pick one up, go ahead and pick it up. Otherwise, I think you could find these, you know, Farm and Fleet, Menards, any hardware store, probably even Walmart. So check it out. Just as long as it's, you know, a little bit harder bristle, softer, and then your delicate one. Okay? And then, last but not least, what I use to put on the actual mat itself after it's dried is uh, trim shine trim shine so this is you know actually used for the outside of your car I use it on the outside of your guys's cars as well but I like it because unlike the armor all wipes that a lot of people use make the mistake of using on these this is not going to be slippery I've done the, the moonwalk test if you will so after I spray one down a perfectly clean one I'll stand on it and see if I can you know moonwalk on it they don't slip um, I wouldn't recommend like spraying it directly to like a, a gas or, or brake pedal. That's just not smart. But as far as the mats go, they get it down to a, a matte finish so it's not a glossy shiny finish and then it's not slippery. Okay guys, now you've seen all the tools I use and the process to do it. Now let's go ahead and just walk it through with one of the time lapses. I'm going to be using my pressure washer and even the drill brush. But if that, those are things that you want as well, they'll be in the description. But I'm telling you, you can do this with just your garden hose and one of those attachments and all the hand brushes. So I wanted to show you guys kind of both ways to do it. I use the pressure washer. I use the drill brush as well. Just because those were investments for me to make my job a little bit easier and a little bit faster. Let's go ahead and watch one. These were the mats from the Toyota Highlander I did a month ago. It was an exterior detail, but I love cleaning these, so I threw it in for free. First I'll hit it with the pressure washer, then spray on the degreaser and let it sit for a second. 
Once it's ready, I'll agitate with the drill brush and finish it off with the pressure washer again to air dry. Repeat these steps until satisfied. I use the same process for the rubber cup holders as well. Totally optional, but the steam cleaner really helps. The owner of the Jetta bought one of them from the link in the, the description after seeing this video and now loves it. They work great for bathrooms as well. If you guys are liking this video on a how-to, be sure to smash that subscribe button below. Thank you. Okay guys, so that's gonna wrap up today's tech tip video. I got my little helper here. So if you got another idea, I've got plenty in the bank. I'm gonna try to do one of these once a week, just like I'm trying to do the details. Send out one of those once a week as well, but I've got a few in the bank, but I'm always open to other ideas, something that you've seen in a video that you'd like some help doing. That's a wrap.